Ubisoft is pretty much always there for the launch of new platforms. Whether they stick around or not varies, but they never want to be the publisher that missed out. And a lot of the time they put out some really unique and interesting things. Titles that take advantage of new features or gimmicks that the system might have. And the Wii U was no different. Though it was caught up in a jumble of the expected launch ports and a Rayman game that was originally supposed to be exclusive, Ubisoft's biggest, most unique, and interesting game for the Wii U was Zombie U, a single-player zombie survival game that purported to take great advantage of the gamepad. And it definitely delivers on that promise. This is, even years later, perhaps the most compelling use of the gamepad ever made for the Wii U. Though, that definitely doesn't make it particularly fantastic in every way. Every time you need to look at your inventory to get an item out of your bag, or just do some basic inventory management, throwing things away, moving things around, whatever you need to do, you have to look down at the gamepad. This of course makes you vulnerable to attack, and it keeps you distracted. The game gives you a few spots for easy access, but even then you need to look down at the touchscreen unless you can remember exactly where you've placed the item. It's great for two reasons. One, it adds a sort of tense feeling to the game. You always feel like if you're going to go through your backpack, if you're going to dig something out, something's going to come after you. But it also does make the game more difficult. But that said, I kind of wish it didn't actually use the touch part of the touchscreen. I'm fine with having to look down at the second screen, and I think that part of it works really well. But what I don't want to do is to fiddle with inventory management and the like with a touch interface on a less than quality touchscreen built into my console's gamepad. Even just the addition of a button that lets you back out of the inventory and get back to controlling your character would have been great. And that one gimmick just wasn't enough for the people making this game because there's another far worse one, the use of the gamepad to scan things. In order to mark things in your environment, find asynchronous multiplayer messages, and a few other things, you have to hit a button, hold up your gamepad, and use the uh, gyroscope and accelerometer in it to look around, marking everything. And it just feels so damn gimmicky and gross, and there's a, another thing that's a little less consequential, where every time you get on a turret, you have to aim it using the gamepad. And then add to all that the fact that the frame rate is awful and inconsistent, the aiming is sluggish and unresponsive, and the game is just really dimly lit, no matter how high up you turn the brightness, and the flashlight doesn't really help. Granted, it does give the game a very well-defined aesthetic, but sometimes I just wanted to be able to, you know, actually see things. Zombie U's ultimate problem is that it's really not actually that good of a game. But it is a very intriguing one, one that I think demonstrates what the Wii U had the possibility of being. Zombie U was the game you looked at when the Wii U came out and you said, maybe there's something to this whole gamepad thing. Maybe developers will figure out something interesting to do with it. Of course, these days there's none of that innovation in sight, and they've released ports of this game for other platforms calling it just Zombie, and taking out the gamepad element of course. The one interesting thing this game had going for it. Without it, it feels like a generic also ran from the area of copious numbers of DayZ clones, and not really anything more. Every Friday, I look at a game that was either ignored when it came out, or has been forgotten since. Games that people have missed. If you like that idea, be sure to subscribe so you can see the latest videos. If you like this video in particular, be sure to hit that like button, and thanks for watching.